Okay, okay, one more before they kick us out of here. I'm getting a massage by the pool at the rehab facility when they bring over a phone and tell me my show's been canceled. And I'm getting cleaned out at 5K a night to get cleaned up, and I got less than no income, right? So I'm ready to bolt over the fence and start making headlines again when I see shoving his face into a six cheese burrito across the pool, the exec who put friends on the network. Yeah. Remember, this is 96, which, as I say it, is before any of you were born. <laughs> it was a year, in case anyone's wondering. Yeah. And Friends was at its peak. Oh, you probably don't know what Friends is. Friends is a TV show. And a TV show is, how do I explain this? Um, it's like a longer Snapchat that you watch on a box, but in the living room. The way this guy's eating, like I've seen this before, I felt this, right? When you can't get a real fix, and the next best thing is loading up on carbs. So I figure I'll do his cholesterol a favor and smuggle in a little pot. Oh. No big deal in the grand scheme of rehab, right? And we'd bond. Except to 28-year-old me, bonding meant pitching my brilliant new television show. So what happened next? Well, that's, that's the concept of a story. I mean, I mean, presumably I was going to tell it to completion even without your question. Oh, my God. Four years of film school, they didn't teach you, you have to finish your narratives? I, I mean, you can't rely on some dumbass to ask you what's gonna happen next. I and mean, you have to tell that dumbass yourself. No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding, kidding. You're fine, you're fine. Clearly, you're very smart. Oh, man, I'm gonna be a part of that. Never underestimate how cool a good cup hold makes you look. Yeah, the inevitable ruin of our generation, underestimating how cool a cup makes you look. Yeah. I mean, it can't just be any cup. It's gotta be a good cup. It's like, yeah, whatever, I'm just hanging out, doing my thing. I don't care if you're looking. What kind of dick just doesn't hold anything? I feel like it'd be cooler for you if it wasn't just orange juice. I mean, what could they possibly be saying to Michael Burwo to make him laugh? I don't know, like a funny joke or an anecdote. Are we done with cups? In the four years that we've known these people, have they ever at any point told you a funny joke or anecdote? Last week, Nicole, she... No, I guess objectively it was just kind of words strung together. I don't know who Nicole is. You don't know who any of these people are. Who's that? Who, Subprime? See. One time he mentions the word subprime, and for four years, that's it. That's all you call him. He's in every I think he said it in reference to the classes. mummy returns. I'm so jealous of your ability. Yeah, there's no, no through line there. Gift to be absolutely oblivious. But I mean, subprime, squeaky chair, <laughs> goddamn oh, magnets? No. They don't deserve Michael Burwell's time. I mean, why is he still here? He's done his commencement. Why doesn't he just go back home? I think the school you. pays him to be yeah. here. And are you against him or the students? Because this isn't tracking. I'm against the idea that these kids are going to leave university and think they have the greatest writer in Hollywood as a contact. Like, what do you say to him? Uh, yeah, my thesis contrasts your early screenplay work with Kafka. Oh, by the way, can you read my script? The twist at the end is the guy's dreaming? <laughs> get fucked. So that was really good, and I'm going to use it as my opener. Now, do I say get fucked or just... You're actually going to go over there? Yeah, why do you think we're still here? And I don't have something to prove like you. I would rather just meet and speak with the guys in Equal once I become a writer and not be a part of this horde of desperately average students. Please never stop having such strong opinions about things with absolutely no experience to back them up. It is one of the things I love about yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go over there. I'll be outside getting air or splashing water on my face. I don't know, whatever people do. Have fun at your big break. You don't want to wish me luck? No. No, that's sort of what I was saying, is that luck has nothing to do with it. Honestly, just shoot me in the face if I wind up photocopying scripts for people who got luckier than me. Smell one? Oh, no, I don't smoke. <clears throat> but I'm obviously gonna take one. This is a classic movie scene. No one ever says no to a cigarette, right? <sighs> oh, those kids are exhausting, huh? That's all my advice. Nothing wrong with that. None of them are going to make it. Hmm. Most of them, it's true. Can I tell you why? Love questions like that, because you're going to tell me anyway. Because not one of them in there is original. In their writing, absolutely not, but in their lives, too. It's hard to come running up to meet you like a bunch of kids on a field trip holding a fucking skipping rope. But you're out here alone, so clearly you're original. 
Well, I know the cliche of the scene that's playing out right now. And I know if I don't do something to impress you, you're gonna walk back inside and forget me too. Opportunity lost. So you got a plan? Skeleton of a plan. Involve murder? Hmm, attempted, maybe. So you're a personal hero of mine, so maybe I have to do something crazy to impress you. You have the confidence of a much larger man. How, how do you know I can't just kick the shit out of you? I mean, I can't, because I'm in front of a laptop like 12 hours a day. What do you say we go for a frozen yogurt instead? We grab a froyo, we go with a low fat, that's like in the way with murder. Well, I'm not actually gonna kill you. It's just. Now, I wrote a short about this in first year. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. So it's a dark, snowy night. I hurt you enough so that you can sue me, right? You and I spend a lot of time together during the trial. Now, during the document disclosure process, I submit a script. The law says that your legal team is required to read everything I submit into discovery. <laughs> so you read it, you love it, naturally, and uh, that's my end. Huh. Hollywood, it's all about who you know. See, that would have been a great name for the film. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're the pro. This is why an assault charge. Sorry, am I interrupting something? Interrupting who? Moo. Was that a knock-knock joke? I regret everything. Mm. <laughs> I just saw you waving your hands around, and I guess I assumed that you were probably rehearsing a scene, or? One sec, hold on. Forgot my cup. Drink. What you drinking? Tastes like scotch. That's clear, so it's definitely not scotch. <laughs> not a <clears throat> big drinker. For moral reasons, or? Well, I just figure everybody drinks, especially in university, so how great can it be? So you're a contrarian, then? Not if you say I am. <laughs> I. You. Oh, so you know letters, too? Why? I don't know, I thought we were doing a bit. Oh, well, we were. Why is also a letter? I'm not sure if you knew that. Ah. Mm. <clears throat> uh, did you just graduate? <laughs> Wouldn't you know if I was in your graduating class? Never really paid too much attention to that stuff. Like life? Yeah, yeah. Never understood it. I think I was sick the day that they taught that at school. Shit, man. I thought I was missing out because I was sick the day they taught cursive. Right? You'd think that they would stretch that lesson out over at least a week. Right? Yeah. But who uses cursive anyway, so? No, you're not one of those I hate cursive people. Are you? If you are, then curse you. OK. <laughs> well, I've received the air that I came out here for. I'm gonna... Take this. What did you... Did you roofie this? Man, I was on. I mean, I'm not usually on like that unless I'm writing a character that's on. You on? What are you on about? You on something? There. There she is. She's, uh... Shit, I didn't get a name. Who doesn't get a name? You, we just did a whole bit about how you don't get names. She knows Michael yeah, yeah, yeah. Burwell? Who? The girl I just did a scene with, or like talked to, I guess. Here, come on. Colin Austin. I was Ladybug, know my name. Wait, did you just call me Ladybug? You had a Ladybug on your shoulder once during That was actually Brian. Who the hell's Brian? Safari hat guy. Ah. Oh my god, you guys are like so cute together. Okay, we're gonna do the class selfie, except we've got this photography photo snapper, some guy who's just gonna take it for us. It's gonna be so retro. Wow, super cool. Hey, lady girl, do you know who that is? You know, Burwell is in Us Weekly a lot. It could be like some young actress Hollywood girlfriend type. Is Burwell staying near here? You guys didn't read TMZ? Uh, acronyms are TMI for him. To Many initials. Okay, so Burwell relapsed again since 2004 or whatever ancient year. And now he's just taking some time away from Hollywood so he can detox. And the whole rumor is, is that he's got this stupidly huge lake house in Muskoka and he's just chilling there. So, can we take the selfie? Oh, crap, oh, crap. 
<laughs> I guess I can't convince you to take your first reverse selfie. You'd have more success convincing me to take my first dick pic. Someone's drunky. No, no, I just I hit the wrong button. Must have been all that one sip of alcohol. Uh, by the way, I feel like I should say what I forgot to say earlier. I'm sane. Sane? What is that? Turkish? Well, just the whole me talking to myself thing. I'm a writer, so occupational hazard. I envision cliche scenes, and then I try and find a new take on them. So that's what I was doing. Cliches like us running into each other in the parking lot. Yeah, that would be a cliche. And the cliche ending is? Honestly, me getting your number. Mmm, good one. Good thing you like to avoid cliches then. Because I like to avoid dating writers, and if I had your number, then I don't know where that would go. So that means you're not currently dating a writer? Well, it's 9 p.m., and I'm alone leaving a party where the only person I talked to for longer than 20 seconds was you, so... I uh, actually never got your name. Yeah, because you never asked for it. Can I get your name? Haley. Haley? That's it. Did you expect something hyphenated? No, I mean, that's it. You're just going to leave? I got to go rehearse. Oh, you're an actress? Singer. Or a YouTube cover artist. Moonlighting as a wandering adventure girl with just a dash of professional contest winner. Oh, cool. I'm uh, Cole, by the way. And as long as we're padding our resumes, I do. Close up magic. Wow. I really look forward to never seeing that. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see ya. If it's meant to be, I guess. It's been the ruin of many a poor boy and me, oh God, for one. What are we looking at? I'm... I'm gonna date that girl. That's an Arby's down there, man. Do you know how many famous screenwriters were born into the Wright family? Uh, Efren, Abrams, Lena Dunham, Landis, yes. Paul Thomas Anderson, all of them had an in. I have names too. Sorkin, Serling, Tarantino, Chayefsky, freaking Michael Burwell. Did they come up with like a weird harebrained scheme or did they do hard work? I'm seizing an opportunity. I met the daughter of the world's greatest screenwriter. I get close to her, I get close to him, and then it's like I'm born into Hollywood royalty with more than a few weeks of work. The work being dating a girl? No, but you're right, that's the best part. Well, second best. I like this girl, man. She's cool. At the end of the day, it's life experience. It's what you're saying my writing always needs. No, 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 no. This is not life experience. This is every shitty rom-com where a guy makes a bet and he has to sleep with the girl and then the girl finds out and there's like an exotic animal pet and I feel like they always go on a rafting trip for no, some no, no, reason. No, 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 no. That's not how I'll write it. No cliches, no bullshit. I'll write a romantic comedy that plays out to be 
irresistible. And why can't you just message her on Facebook? Because I have an opportunity here to write my own first impression. Well, second, I guess, but whatever. Help me learn to be a real boy. Fine. I would love to see you be a real boy. Vodka seven, please. Make that two. So, uh, vodka 14. Page one character rewrite, huh? Well, I figure I'm out of school now, so as of today, I have nothing to rebel against, so I can drink. You know, usually people drink in order to rebel instead of rebelling against drinking, but what the heck, let's go. Mm, this tastes like dirt. This is pepper. Uh, you being 22, never having been in a relationship, I don't feel like that's gonna sell for you as a character or like a carbon-based life form. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've been with girls. Right. You, on the other hand, I don't think I've ever seen you once do any part of the baseball analogy with anybody. You've been with people. Even like a bag of loose assorted jello wouldn't go 22 years without accidentally dating someone. So you cut to this. We've had lots of drinks, right? We have had lots of drinks. I know, but this is too Hollywood, is what I'm saying. Like, the waiter would have taken our glass away when we got another drink, right? So why are they all still here? That's just bad service. Like, in real life. Is this not that? All right. Enough of this uh, quirky in your head shit. If you think you can pull off the straight, white, leading male thing and maintain it, give it a shot. This place is pretty dead, man. All right, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it, I'll do it. Hey, how's it going? I'm cool. That's your line. Stay in character, man. It's my name. Cool. Did I say cool? Crashing it. Just pretend it's me. It is you. Just. You. Hey, how are you? I'm cool. So you're having a stroke? No, I'm keeping my hands to myself. Oh, your skin is so soft. It's like a newborn calf skin. That is so sweet. Ew, what? No, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. How many newborn calves am I touching? Is a calf a cow? Is a lamb a sheep? These are the things that I'm wondering now. <laughs> oh. I love your laugh. It's like, uh... well, all I'm thinking about is sheep. <laughs> Where do you look when you talk to someone? Their eyes? No, that doesn't sound right. I don't like this cup. Give me your cup. I want to hold your cup. That's a better vibe. I like that more. That one's no fun. Ugh. Yeah. I've been dealing with that all night. I'm gonna teach you something. Okay. It's called the Clooney, and mm -hmm. it's my favorite move. So you're gonna look up, okay. look down, look back up. I'm gonna look up, I look down, I look Less back with up. the head, though, okay. just with the eyes. Are you supposed to tap a girl in the back when you hug her? Like, you bring, is it like a, who do I see if I have to sneeze? <gasps> oh, thank God. Okay, I'm looking down. Back up. I look back up. I'll open my eyes. Eyes open. Okay. Whole time. Look down. Look back up. Look back up. That's good. That's really good. Was that okay? That is charming. Oh, thanks. Do that to her dad, too. Who's dad? Oh. Oh, that was a good research session. Research session. I feel like I was able to step outside myself. I welcome to drinking. But it was like when I'm writing a character and the pages are flowing, I could just live it. You know? Just live it. Those are fun. You are fun. And you are living. Mm hmm And I am happy. Mm hmm And it is good. Come back. I need an adult. Boy. Reach. Girl. We're gonna need a meat cute. Vanilla chai latte. That's mine. Oh, it's gotta be more original. Yeah, not in your head with you, buddy. The part where I meet the girl, I need to, like, trap her in a web of delightfulness. Oh, so this is like a most dangerous game type scenario. Mm, how's that? Well, instead of hunting man, you're hunting a relationship with a woman that, well, that you're actually also hunting. That's actually not a bad idea. No, it's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. You're planning a heist targeting a human woman. Oh, I kind of like that. So for hunting, I track her. Instead of footprints, there's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. 
and then all I gotta do is meet her, and then like you said, it's a heist. So I learn the routine, and then we do the montage where I set up the plan, naturally. And then I date her, if she wants to. But why wouldn't she want to? The devil in those that run from my honest face. But I'm looking for you. mac and cheese, please. Thanks. Mm. Thank you. I'll have what she's having. Literally, in a food sense. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm such a klutz. Here, keep the change. Thanks. Hey, guess who just got a face full of keychain? No, it's not a euphemism. Yeah, remember that poster we saw? And it was about how if you find a keychain, you win a prize? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a trip to Miami. I mean, it's a keychain and a bowl of macaroni. It's got to be something good, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. This was in my food. Oh, honey. That's not supposed to happen. I'm so sorry. Was it? That's not mine. No, it wasn't. Oh, it's weird. I won, too. It's crazy. I never won anything before. I mean, I'm a professional contest winner, but... So what do we win? I'm not sure quite what prize you're talking about or if you're talking. Maybe we just get the keychain. What? No, come on. A keychain? I could get a manager, unless I'm the manager. Have you really never won anything before, you loser you loser? I won a spelling bee once as a kid, but the word was gum, and I spelled it with two N's. <laughs> I, they gave it to me, but I had to fake a stutter for like five years. <laughs> what if I give you kids gift cards to stop spooking me? <laughs> you don't want your pity gift cards. Mm, I could go for a gift card. This is like the only place that I come. I know, but I mean, I mean, I, I don't know that you come here. You know what? I've got a great idea. We're gonna go to a place I know and get a fitting prize that we deserve. Follow me. There's a question that's begging to be asked. Was the cashier having an aneurysm? She was a bit aneurysm, huh? Mm. Aneurysmish? Aneurythmic? Aneurythmic. Aneurythmic. Yes. I like that. It's when you go from dropping sick beats <laughs> to, to having seizures in the street. Yeah. That was another question. Um, have I seen you in the news on account of being like, I don't know, like a serial killer? Something like that that I shouldn't be following? Because you look really familiar. Serial killer? Me? You know, of all the things people say about me, I don't think that's one of them. Oh, why? Because all of those people are at the bottom of the lake somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And if they're snitching, they deserve to be serial killed anyway. Yeah, everyone's always snitching on the local serial killer. Right? It's like, get a job. A serial killer has one. Mm. He serial kills for a living. Other people's dying. <laughs> but yeah, you kind of look familiar, too. 
What would you say if I picked you out a great album? Mm, I would say, good luck finding me one that I haven't shoved obsessively down my ear holes, except I would say it in a less weird way than that. So you're into music? Okay, Golden. I love playing the meet cute fantasy game as much as anybody, but it's just really starting to feel like you're not playing along. It's cool, actually. And you are Harley from the grad party. Haley. I would consider changing it to Harley. Mm. Heard it? Uh, I don't think so. Well, then I'm buying it for you. Don't eat. <laughs> That's, uh, yep, yeah, the exact change. Thanks. Right. OK, wait, I didn't. You also won this contest, so I guess I got to snag you a cool prizey, too? Hmm. Tell you what, let me show you a magic trick. <laughs> OK, magic, nice. Um, I hope it's the latter half of, of nice me. Mm. Wow. Riveting. I've seen that one before. It's called, uh, bullshit. <laughs> it's a simple charm. And you'll see its effects soon enough. Uh, wait, hold on. You're just, what, again, you're just not gonna ask for my number? Well, you'll get my number. If it's, or your words, meant to be. Okay, so about this writer's room internship I got on the amazing show that you hate for some reason. Yeah, 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 one sec. Um, one of the notes that you had was that the main character being in every scene was too much. Yeah, he's an acquired taste. It's like that purple ketchup that you and I like that no one else did. So maybe leave room for some normal people capable of human conversation about the amazing internship I got. I feel like Burwell's gonna get this when he reads it. Not that I'm ignoring whatever it is you're... T no, you never Oh, did. shit. Oh, this is her. Ah, this is it. <clears throat> Hello? Your charm was successful. Mm, were you check? <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is why I hate magic, because now I can't stop thinking about how you did it. Well, maybe you should be enjoying the sounds of Joni Mitchell instead. I would be, except the nine in your phone number just completely obliterated the circle game. And now it's just going round and round and round in the circle game. Oh, or, you know, just ignore my best joke. Have you never heard the circle game? Uh, no, I have, but uh, you said that you haven't. Yeah, well, I lied. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. Except you pulling out that record was just too perfect for me to ruin it with my truth. <sighs> Whenever I hear this song, it makes me feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Really? I always feel like I should be somewhere else. Like, uh, last week, I was at this Mexican girl's quinceanera, and her family kept telling me to get out of the buffet line. I don't know, Cole. There's something about good music that just makes me want to be serious and not at all bantery. Uh, so what do you think the song means? We're captive on the carousel of time. We can't return. We can only look behind from where we came. I think she's saying that if we look too far ahead, then we just miss life. Or it could mean that we should prepare for the future. Influence your own story, that way you can write your own life. Isn't that kind of the warning of it, though? You know, promises of someday make his dreams. I don't know, I feel like that whole round and round part means that we're bound to make the same mistakes over and over again, so. Seems a bit defeatist for Joni, but I mean, if we're gonna go with my whole living in the now thing, I could ask you on a date. Oh. Because, you know, I had, like, sort of this whole thing planned, but, uh, that's cool. <laughs> ah, imagine that going in, that would have been a cool moment. So you're throwing away act one of your plan? What? No, dude, act one was a slam dunk. Okay, buddy, a slam dunk is not when you throw something from across the room. And definitely not if you miss. All right, you know what, really killing the vibes here, Oz. Tim. Austin. Austin. Austin's better, yeah. Whoa! This place is...
a spectacular attack. It's like an epic church out of some groovy rom-com. Yeah, it's where the girl runs to at the climax to be alone. And she's wearing some like weird Alice in Wonderland looking bullshit. And the guy knows she's there because obviously they're meant to be together and they've already established that location. Mm. Sounds lame. Like a crippling cliche. I wanted to do not coffee. Right, and we've already done a graduation mm -hmm. record store. So um, the logical next step was escape room. Oh, great. Is this the thing where you escape the room, or? That makes way more sense than what I thought it was. Hi, we hear you have snakes to pet. No, that's not right. Is it not? No, we want to escape a room. Yes, that's right. Is this your first time? Well, I've escaped rooms before. Uh, for example, I had to escape a room to get here, and I assume to leave this place, I'll have to escape a room? Okay, so no. Mm. And can I get the name you reserved under? We did not make a reservation. Oh. A friend of ours says to live in the now. Well, we're fully booked. There's like, there's like five people here. They're, they're in the escape rooms, trying to escape. Right. Uh, well, that's fine, because we didn't want to play anyway. We just wanted to uh, see how it worked. Uh, we have a coffee date to get to, so. If you want, I could make you a reservation. Can you make the reservation for now? We have availability in September. Like the September that is three months from now? Yeah, we're very popular. Chose the right place to come to. Should we make it? Mm, I don't know. What did Joni say about promises of someday, hmm? I think she said never admit date defeat. In which case, we'll say that we came here for a reason. And that reason is to reserve for September. Yeah, we'll take it. You can also book online. Oh, madam, you've been far from helpful. Please don't start now. All right, escape room is admittedly a failure. But I'm going to rewrite this date with simplicity and ease. I mean, not rewrite. I'm going to add it. Can I help you? All right, yeah, can we get two ice creams? We're actually out of ice cream. How do you? You're an ice cream store. We didn't want any, anyway. You just asked for ice cream. No, we didn't. We said, could we get some? Drive, go, drive. I need to stop making plans. Yeah, you do. Oh, shit, turn here. This moment brought to you by Joni's famous words. Never admit date to food. Mm. Sasha. Gross. Gross. Neil Halton. Serious? Um, vanilla? Do you even well, know this is where a we disaster. are? No, we've been lost for like a good 20 minutes. That's... I just figured if we could at least get to the cathedral with some ice cream, then maybe you we know, could You know, I'll just eat this anywhere at this point while it's still ice and not just cream. Okay, good. Oh, shit. Shitty wow. What? Close your eyes, quick. I no, got I an mean, idea well, while I'm driving. No? I mean, sorry, just look look away and I'll pull in this oh, steery thing. Okay. Yeah, and we're just gonna park. Okay. Okay. Oh. Totally not so. Okay, don't peek. Okay, I'm not gonna peek. I mean, what the hell, right? Wow, what? the shoe tree. Oh, no. You've been here before? What? Mm. All right, where do you want to eat? Next to the muddy boots or the hepatitis-covered sandals? No, 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 you don't get to change the topic, mister. What the hell significance does a tree covered in shoes have to you? It doesn't. It's, uh, I don't know, it's nothing. My, uh, Austin and I, we go camping a lot. We have to drive up north. And every time we pass this tree, he wants to stop and talk about life. And I just want to get up there and have ice cream time. So I guess you don't like to talk about anything of consequence, then. There's consequences to things of consequence. Spoons? Fuck me. Wow. This is a classic dick on wrong fiasco, isn't it? Mm, I was really hoping to make a better third first impression. Yeah, it doesn't have to be all cute parking lot run-ins and bakery quinky dinks. Yeah, but then I could be anyone. Or you could just try being me. 
I just I had all these things planned out, you know, funny things I was gonna say, how I was gonna end the date, callbacks I was gonna use for the second date, and now I'm just kind of like floundering in this mm. void of them. Shut up. <laughs> You know, first kisses are, uh, there's like a template to it. At first it's like, oh, it's this really great moment. But in reality, it's just two people squishing their mouths together. I, uh... Just live. Part of me still thinks like a modern day, less problematic Woody Allen. I would never swipe right on someone who swipes right on me, but this girl is weirdly swiping all over me. Hey, you went on a date with a girl, with a real life girl, and you know, you lived, so we can call it a failed experiment and move on. But the logical part of me sees that I'm writing something great. It's like what we have is a really polished ninth draft. Yeah, well, why? I thought you said we were getting lunch. Well, try the sour keys. Not yellow. Yellow is gross. Life is making me really sad, man. And uh, no, backtracking. It's not a lie. It's art. And it's good. And like any good art, it can change you. Or me. Or see, I'm doing the Ethan Hawke thing in real life. Can now. we not? Look, I told the showrunner about you, and he wants to meet you. So can we just drop the whole fake dating thing for a minute, and you can try to land a real job with me? Well, fuck the showrunner. Not only is this fake dating thing gonna land me Michael Burwell, I'm learning how to write female characters. Honestly, man, you don't know how these people think until you actually spend time oh with them. Oh my God, you're an idiot. Do you understand that everyone wants to be on this show? That I am even here right now is amazing. And now the EP is talking to me about his new Netflix thing. How can you not want that? Because you're here from six in the morning, hole punching some asshole shit that's just gonna be rewritten by some other asshole. And what, you're gonna do that for six years? All right, well, it's a way in. It's a rush hour bus ride to mediocrity is what it is. Okay, and using some girl that you don't even like, what is that? Continuing the analogy, it's the empty carpool lane straight downtown. And I told you, I do like her. I don't think you know what you like. <sighs> Which I was hoping this whole, uh, you know, coming of age thing would teach you. But fine, you slipped her the tongue. Now slip her the script, let's move on. Uh, so wait, first you were accusing me of using her, and now, what, you're jelly? I'm spending Are less time with you or something? Are we saying jelly now? Look, man, you're gonna spend the next three weeks convincing this girl that a happy ending is coming, and then you're gonna throw in the fucking recycling bin and move on. And who is that good for? I don't know, maybe me? Maybe her? Maybe we end up together. Why not? I think there's a version of this where we end up together. Fuck the cliche. No, cool. Fuck you! All right, fuck me! Why do you care so much? Because since ninth grade, we have been talking about writing together and moving to LA together and having a fucking show together, and now I'm giving you a shot at that, and you're you're throwing it away for some girl. You're sounding very gay right now, man. So the fuck what? Mm. You know what? This is actually good inspiration because uh, gay people are in right now, and I've been considering writing a gay character in my script, but I don't know if he's gay or if he even knows he's gay. You know what? I'll figure it out. Thanks, us. Tin! Ah! Never make that nickname work. Okay, well, there's only so many ways I can say fuck you. <gasps> I love, 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 love this book. Oh my gosh. Last year I read this 30 times. <laughs> wow. That's super intense. It's also kind of hot. Oh. Don't act like it's not crazy, okay? I know it is. Anyway, there's just, there's, there's this part at the end, okay, where there's like this soul-searchy bit where the main character is just literally fighting himself and like all the messed up stuff he's done is just, it is everything to me. Just playing up there in front of real people, oh. That's music.
did. <laughs> yeah, these people didn't come here to see him. They just came. Yeah, but they came and they stayed. And that's all it was. No fame, no fortune, none of that. Just that connection. You know, you never did that thing. The yawny, shiny, yawny. No? I respect feminine rights. Yeah, but as the female, I'm giving you the right to put your arm around me. <sighs> was that? Oh, that was it? Okay, just, yeah. I think they want to clean up. <laughs> So in this revision based off real life experience, I'm gonna make the girl talk in this really cute way where she says things like fuckity and dum dum. Mm. Except I've never said dum dum. <laughs> Stupid face. <laughs> How's your song going? Uh, it's not. The boy that the song's about is just too distracting. <laughs> your dad's Michael Burwell? Wow, the Michael Burwell? Michael Burwell is in Michael Burwell? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I thought about that again. No. Might be a bitch or eat a burger. Never thought you'd last that long without talking to me. It's been like one montage. Two minutes in a movie is what, like a week? Three weeks. Who's counting? Wow. I literally think that's the first awkward silence we ever had together. We need to make up for lost banter skills. So I'm um, assuming that Haley Burwell thing fizzled out. Bubble tea tonight? Why would you assume it fizzled out? Well, because it's been three weeks. So um, you should have had sex by now. And I know we don't talk about that sort of thing, but let's be honest, there's never been that much to talk about. So if something had happened, I feel like you would have broken the ice on our Cold War. You know what? It's none of your business. I don't kiss and tell. Or fucking converse. No, because there's nothing to converse about. No, not yet. I mean, she wants to, probably, but... I mean, I think we want to. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Look, I know I didn't support you in this. Fine. But if this is a real thing and you really like each other, then you have my blessing. So you're willing to share me now? I... I value our friendship or whatever too much not to. Just one condition, come out with me tonight. Mm. It's gonna be fun, we'll, we'll go for bubble tea and then we'll hang with the writers from the show. They're funny, I like them. I don't like people. Well, uh, they're writers, Cole, they don't like people either. Yeah, but they're TV writers. It's like calling a hamburger a uh, ribeye steak. You know what, Cole, sometimes a hamburger <laughs> is the best meal. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, this is why I love you, man. I don't even need to say anything. I did miss you, though. Here's what I would say if I said things like that. <laughs> Jesus, I'm starting to think this girl does nothing all day long. All right. You do your leading man thing. I'll drink into the background like a good sidekick. All right. I'll see you tonight. <clears throat> hey, Lee. Solid joke. What's up, Eddie? Mm, nothing. Just getting some work done. Cool. What are you up to tonight? You want to come over? You want to hang out? I really want to say yes, but I just told Austin that we'd hang out. Right. Because you know what come over means, right? Like it, um, like it's like a sex thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Sex thing sounds very... Uh, sex positive. I'll, uh, I'll see you tonight. Hey, wait, no, uh, phone back to ear, please. What's up? I hate that. Okay, people say, I'll see you tonight, and they, like, hang up the phone. No one makes any plans. What is that? I don't know. I thought it was, like, a general... Um, how was your place at nine? Nine's perfect, except you don't know where my place is. I do not. You're right. OK, so I'll text it to you. OK. Hey. Hey. You look great. Thanks. <clears throat> 
Holy shit. Your parents famous or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not going inside? Follow the leader. You invited me over. I mean, am I really over if we don't go inside? <laughs> it's more like I'm around. You should have invited me around, not over. I thought I'd try planning the perfect moment for once. Perfect. Straight out of a movie? One I'm jealous I didn't write. Why do you have to be jealous? Because I want all of this. Well, hey. You have it. You have me. You ever feel like, um, life's only good in the memories? Like, um, like a scent? Or music? Or a good movie? Is it all only good in retrospect? That would mean we're all just living to die. That's pretty depressing. I just always had this feeling like I was remembering my life. Storing it for the future so I can remember it later. Well then, hey. Stop recording for a memory and just press play. Didn't you find love or salvation in what they do? A oh, heart is built of gold, the fairies they are too. It's in the hands you hold. How long can we ignore? We build a little more, and then we break our truth. Record this as a memory. Not that I have anything to um. Just um, I'm just gonna get naked. Now. Um, fully naked, just cause you're not uh. You're not. I'm I'm just. Gonna... <laughs> Speak lest I ruin the moment. What the hell did I just say? Did I say lest? I should have lost. Hey, stop. Stop? Stop what? Don't stop. Just stop. Smile like you know the new world has been found.
sorry I left you in bed. I guess I just needed to channel some inspiration-y vibes. Mm, last night inspired you. We, uh, you know, we drank a lot, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I thought, uh, it was great, was it not? What is this place? This is my recording studio. In an elfin cove? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, it used to be a crawl space. I've always sort of been a sucker for these kind of spots. You know, like a, a refrigerator box or um, that little spot underneath the stairs where the world just fits perfectly around you. There's no space to be lonely if there's no space. I guess part of the allure is that I never really had any friends. Yeah, but it's not like that's some great tragedy. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, because you have all this. It's just, I don't know, friends can be uh, distracting. Uh, trust me, you're lucky to have this kind of life where you can just sing and create and... You don't have to worry about reality, or struggles, or people. Mm-hmm. Right. So you think that because my dad is famous, that I just sit around waiting for a big break then? You never said your dad was famous. Right, like you didn't know that my dad was Michael Burwell. Your dad is Michael Burwell? Wow. Is he here? No. Okay, he goes out on the boat every morning. Are... Are we done? Just minimizing my struggles now? I'm just saying you're talented. And you know what you want, and you can actually get it. Look, this is, um, this is spiraling. I just, you didn't try hard to get here. It's a really great life, and that's great. And I'm here too, but I also had to fuck over my best friend to get here. Mm. It's silly, you want me to feel bad because you have nobody to fuck over that nothing gets in the way of what you want to accomplish. <sighs> I wish crippling loneliness was my issue. Yeah, Cole, I think you got bigger issues. It's called a severe fucking lack of empathy. Come on, I didn't want to start a fight. I'm just pointing something out. You know, you don't own the rights to struggling artists, okay? Your problems are no worse than anybody else's, so you don't get to use that as some kind of bitter excuse as to why you're better than everybody. <laughs> I think it's time for you to go, okay? You know, it's funny, I was thinking the same thing last night. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, my character slipped. I slipped. I don't want the end of Act 2 breakup. Me neither. I'm a Mariah. You're an moron. idiotic idiot. <laughs> You, who phones people? No matter you and me. Six? Mm -hmm. Can I come over? Yeah. Yeah, just meet me at the swings. Yeah.
you were still mad at me. I think I have the right to be a little angry. You ditch me for a fake girl, and then you do it again, and again, it gets tiring. So she's not fake. She's a real girl. A okay, fake relationship, Pinocchio. Nope. Real relationship, real argument, real big problem. So now you want to use me for girl advice? And I'm just supposed to what? Like, drop everything and help you because you need me? Austin, I'm like you wanted. Learning and failing. And it fucking sucks that I don't have you to help me fail. And clean up my messy writing by taking things out and making it simple. Okay, simple rewrite. Break up with her. That's one of those rewrites that sounds simple until you look at what you're cutting and realize you actually like what you wrote. But I also like all the stuff that we wrote about going to L.A. for eight years, so... Yeah, complicated. What? I'm gonna go. Soon. What, like, in the middle of this conversation? I'm going to L.A. It's nothing crazy. The EP offered me the script coordinator thing on his Netflix show. I guess I'll be there whenever you're ready to come out to L.A. Wow. That's, uh, geez. Thanks so much for the invite. You can't just be your best friend character, Cole. Nah, man, I can get it. All I did was follow our plan, like we always talked about. And what about the plan with this girl, man? You said, and I quote, I just want you to be a real boy. Yeah, well, I guess I just thought the truth would have come out already. <laughs> and by the way, congratulations, Austin, on this amazing opportunity and moving to L.A. I'm really fucking proud of you. Did I just pass your drug dealer, I, or...? I, what are you doing here? I don't know. Missing you, I guess? Seriously? Where were you a few hours ago? Uh... We had our first big fight. Yeah, so... So what? Who cares? What? Stop being so dramatic! Cool, come on. Why prolong some stupid fight? Haley, please don't forgive me. I'd rather you didn't tell me what to do with my forgiveness, so... Why do you gotta be so... cool? It's not even, like, cool, though. It's, like, blind. I mean, Haley, why do you like me? Because you like me. And when we're together, it's not like I have to crawl into this, like, small room. You, you just make it feel like wherever we are is exactly the right size. And, and, and it feels like that because you try... You try to make it feel that way. And <sighs> most guys don't try, so... Wow. Oh, that is so fucking... I only try because... <clears throat> Fuck it. Why hide it? I only try because I wanted to impress you so I could meet your dad and impress him. Is that it? Like, do you think you're the only guy that wanted to meet my dad? I... God, it was a lie. The Joni Mitchell album, the coincidental meeting at the bakery, it was all fucking planned and orchestrated and written like some horseshit heist movie. I mean, seriously, what kind of girl lets a guy tell her that she was some useless piece on a stupid chessboard and then doesn't care? You deserve better. I don't need this. I don't need you to tell me about the virtues and the nuances of being a strong, independent female, okay? I can be a real, well-rounded human being on my own, thank you very much. And you know what? If I like spending time with you when you're not being this jackass of a fucking guy, then, then, 
Just don't be this guy. Ailey, I'm... You're like my dad. Obsessed with being this wounded, creative type because you think that, I don't know, normal isn't interesting? Normal. Ugh. But I want to be normal. With you, I do. I fear giving me this chance. I really want to date this guy. Me? This? OK, listen, buddy. I know that you think that you're, like, so charming and so irresistible, and I couldn't help but fall for your plan, OK? But I had as much of a say in this as you did, so. So what you're saying is, uh, mm. women can be active characters, too? I love that this beautiful, grotesque tree has just become our spot. It's like out of a dream. Babe, I don't know what kind of dreams you're having, but if that's what they're like, keep me out of them. Oh. Hey, listen, listen, very serious. My birth anniversary is coming up this weekend. You should come stay at my house with me for a little bit. Yeah, really? Yeah, you should meet my dad in like a less sneaky, more normal way. Just don't bug him about writing too much, because he came up here to like get away from all of that, and he's doing really well. And he's been really present for me lately, and that's great, so. Do you think I'm nuts? Mm, I think you're beautiful. I was confused by 100 spinning plates, but now it's simple. Because most of those plates have dropped off or left town. I think I'm glad I don't have to sneak around to give your dad a script. And I think I keep listing things off because I forgot to say that. No, I don't think you're nuts. Mm, but I do think I don't want to talk anymore. How you doing, Michael? Cool. Cool, yes, of course. My daughter has told me everything about you. And let me just say, it is a pleasure to meet another guy with an average-sized penis. That was a joke. Ah. <laughs> Always fun having to explain jokes to people. Yeah, well, I, um, I know or Haley's told me a little bit about you, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's no way an aspiring writer would be scouring my Wikipedia page, you know, nightly. <laughs> We're just out back doing the whole summer thing, you know. Sitting, occasionally standing, swimming. There was uh, some talking earlier. That was fun. <laughs> All right. You been up here before? I used to come as a kid. I mean, you know, summer's on this lake. 
in a crappy little cottage, not this fucking palace. <laughs> I, do, I do one punch up on some chimp playing sports, and I got granite countertops, recessed lighting, some kind of stone on the wall fireplace with some Francis freaking Robin guy or something in every room. Speaking of rooms, I have no idea how many rooms there are in this place. I took a dump this morning, like a really painful shit, in a bathroom that I swear to God I've never been in in my life. Anyways, it's nice to uh, come back here, you know? Bring Haley, introduce her to, uh, you know, real people for a change. Well, I'm a real person. Of course you are. Otherwise, would I be able to do this? So much as touch a hair on my daughter's head, and I swear to God, I will make a formal inquiry to the barber's union and make sure that you are qualified to touch hair. I have no idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Seriously, I'm not the kind of dad. She seems, I don't know, honestly, lighter since you've been around. So you just keep lighting her up, all right? And we will all be, how you kids put it, lit, right? Right? Look, I don't give a shit. You want something? I'm good. Thanks. What's your dad up to? Hmm? Uh, I guess sometimes he just gets stuck in his own head. Kind of like you. Mm, is he writing a new script or something? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? He's right there. So? It's not like he cares. Just ignore me, and I'm talking to the coal in the fire anyway. Hmm? Shh. This coal is much hotter than you. Oh, Dad. You call yourself a writer. Jesus. I'm sorry, were you uh, asking me? I was asking what kind of stuff you wrote, but it was just a, well, a bit of polite etiquette. Uh, well, I, uh, <clears throat> I write uh, movies and TV shows that have a very naturalistic kind of... Um, it actually harkens back to the old, wow. It just said harkens, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> um, it's very similar to your style of writing, actually, if anything. That's fun. I'm a big fan of my own style. And the word harkens. You know, we really don't have to talk about writing right now. Uh, yeah, no, Haley is right. We're uh, up here to do the whole summer thing. No writing. Really? Usually when a writer gets one-on-one -on -one time with me, they want me to read a script. <laughs> they usually have a paper one on them. Nope, not me. I'm not even a big paper copy kind of guy. I guess that's millennials. Hmm. Okay, this has been very nice, but uh, I must hearken back to my bed. <laughs> Good night, gorgeous. Good night, Dad. Love you. Mm-hmm. Whew. Have a good one. Yep. When we can't return, we can only look behind from where we came. Yeah. The way we keep mentioning that song, I feel like it's going to come back and sum up our relationship in some trite, yet really beautiful way. At least it would if this was a movie. But it's not. And I'm really glad it's not.
Hey, sorry. I didn't see you there. Hey, you're up early. Always. You too? Yeah, I like to get up while the lake's still calm and nobody's on it. Help me clear my head. Forget about the inevitable robot uprising. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful out there. Looks like glass. Say what now? The lake. It looks like uh, glass. Thank you. you can come if you want. Yeah, sure. Get a rope. Hey, thanks for the invite. Bulgarian weapon expert. Obliterated 80% of the hearing in this ear, so I'm gonna assume you're talking about whatever material the lake's made of and say sure. So, sure. very special. I'm not just saying that like a proud dad. I mean, she's fucking talented, too. Exhausting sometimes. Does she have her problems? Oh, yeah. Are we still talking about that Bulgarian weapons expert? Or... <sighs> no. Haley. I can say it because she takes after me. Especially the bad ways. She takes after her mother. She's got this bottomless craving for attention. Psycho bitch, that woman. Marlene. I loved her. Probably killed her, too. There we go. Uh, you also remind me of me. Uh, probably why you guys get along so well. She likes to iron out her daddy issues with the right guy. <clears throat> or the wrong guy. Hey, are you supposed to be a... No. Hey, sorry, I just... I heard you were in recovery. It's not for you or Haley or anyone else to worry about, all right? I'm a drug addict. I'm not an alcoholic. Okay. Fuck it, A right, it's okay. Summertime. Middle of the lake, having a beer, a couple of writers. I don't think there's anything that needs to be reported back to HR. Or HB. Yeah. No, I got it. I, uh, I didn't mean anything. Yeah. Okay, look, can we, um, can we skip the build-up? Hmm? I know what uh, spinning wheels look like before you get into a scene. What do you mean? Well, you couldn't ask last night. She's not here now. What did she say? Not to bring up whatever script you got? Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. Well, we're already talking about it. So what is it? Movie? TV? Comedy? Thriller? Come on, tell me. I'm short-circuited up here with no stimulus. <sighs> she, just, she doesn't want it interfering with that. Uh... With what? My sobriety? Your relationship? Bullshit. I'm a fucking Oscar winner offering to look at your script and give you feedback. Who's got to know? Uh... Well, it's, um, it's a very simple movie. Um, very early Michael Burwell, actually. Well, can't promise anything will come of it, but um, I'll give it a read. No, 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 no. That's fine. I don't, um, I don't need anything to come. I got to say, if it's good, I mean, if it's really good, if it's a really great piece of writing, like something someone your age would probably not normally produce, I will say, great, good job. Maybe I'll give it to my agent's assistant to look at. If it's anything less than that, I'll say it's great. You know, uh, keep at it. I can see you're talented. If, God forbid, it's a piece of shit. Well, I'm no saying. I'll tell you it's a piece of shit. You never resent me for it. But I hope that doesn't happen, because if it does, then, um, well. Maybe you'll find out we're both fucked. Yeah. Honestly, just having Michael Burwell reading my script saying, yeah, it's a good script. That's, uh, that's good enough for me. I know you don't believe that. I can see you writing the bullshit as it comes out of your mouth. I know, because I do the same thing. I'm transparent. I'm not some money film school kid. I mean, tell me it's good. Tell me it's a piece of shit. I was kind of over asking you anyway. Well, I'll give you this. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. I didn't think you were actually going to hand me something. I'm going to give you this. If you really are like me, <laughs> Haley's already trying to fix you. 
Mm. <sighs> Lake's not like glass anymore, is it? It's like a storm's coming. God. I love being up north and saying shit like, storm's coming. It makes me feel like a real person, not some Hollywood fuck -lake. Give me the script later. I'm sure you got a paper copy. Oh, yeah. Spider on him. Hey. Hi. Oh my god. Ugh. Hey, I I woke up and I thought you'd like one night stand at me or something. Did you think I was really bad at counting one night stands too? Because it's been way more than one night. Maybe. I don't know. I've never heard you count. Maybe it's like. You could be all 10, 12, 11, 9, I don't know. <laughs> You're not mad that I went out with him? No. Oh. Why would I be mad? <laughs> Two people I love just spent time together. What'd you say? Oops, a doodle. Caught me. I, uh, I love you too. Hey, I did the same thing. Hey, oh, excited to read it. Welcome to distraction from my own shittiness today. <laughs> Even an off-white would be better. Right? Like, I don't know, a nice corn silk? Yeah. Or eggshell? Here comes the rain. Mm. Rain in a hammock is a very rom-com cliche kind of situation, do you not think? Mm. This is... <gasps> oh, oh, my God! <laughs> oh! You! Ah! Mm. I love you. I know you said that. Mm. <laughs> Inside. 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 Okay. <laughs> Is it lays or lies? So Is it he lays or he lies? Your word this game has nothing to do with proper grammar, right? It's just spelling. Yeah, no, I know. I can't spell it anyway. I've got seven L's. Dinner's ready. <laughs> you look great. So, <clears throat> never like toasts. Lachheim. <laughs> Fine. Maybe for your birthday I'll get a new joke. Hmm? Mm. Which is to say, it's been a tough year for both of us, but I'm glad that we are here together. I realize this is beginning to sound like a suicide pact. <laughs> so I will say that the food has not been poisoned. It has, however, been laced with delicious gluten because mm. we are no longer in LA. Thank God for that. Yes. Boom. <laughs> mm. Coke? Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. That's delicious. <clears throat> I didn't know you could cook. No, Dad used to be a sous chef actually, at a very swanky restaurant in Beverly Hills where all the producers ate. No, I used to provide filling foods to people while I wrote my first few scripts, which were all filler. Mm. But I got better, retained the cooking skills, proving it is important to not be all in on only one thing. Uh, Dad, 
That was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take after you and become a writer who cooks. <laughs> Instead of a one-dimensional writer who just, you know, writes. Hales, go, 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 uh, find us a movie to watch while Cole and I do something not at all surprising or commemorative for your birthday. Right. Read your script. <clears throat> oh, wow, geez, thank you. You're talented, is what I would say if you were talented. And you are, so you're talented. Almost everything I've read from people of your age is worse than this, which is definitely a good thing. I like that you didn't go down the uh, obvious path with what you set up. Dialogue was crisp and uh, witty. Yeah, I, I think it's a really great script. And uh, it's actually quite filmable if I could just get it in the right Could you use some tweaks is what Craig would say. Craig is Rob's assistant. Rob is my agent, or my agent's agent, or wait a second, that makes Dave my agent. So is Dave Mitch's manager's assistant manager? Hmm. No, we, uh... We actually, we don't have to talk about it. Sure. All of your characters are unlikable. Well, people aren't necessarily likable in the real world. And the ending is unsatisfying. There's no, nothing's resolved. Well, I mean, that's life, right? We don't always get things wrapped up the way that we want. A little commercialism wouldn't kill you, hmm? You know, rewrite it. Give us someone to root for, and uh, I don't know, maybe a, a win in the end. Who do I? <laughs> no, that's really great advice. Thanks again for reading it. Honestly. Happy ending, yeah. You ever think that maybe you're just a part of the old guard? I mean, movies are made differently now. Oh, yes, I hear everyone's dying to see the new YouTube short shot entirely from the smart fact. And when your generation dies out, no offense, uh, we'll be able to make movies that don't follow the same six storylines. No one ever says, no offense, and then says something like, I love cinnamon buns. And that is a sentence that truly means no offense. You know, I just don't think you get it. I get it. You're kind of unlikable. <laughs> I said it was pretty good. Pretty good means fuck all to me. Fuck all means what to me? Sorry, I guess I'm old and my generation needs to die out. So, um, sorry, I never heard the term. So fuck, fuck all? You know, it's fine. You're allowed to not like the script. It's just I can't help but wonder how you would feel about it if you read it when you weren't drunk or on whatever drugs you're doing. Not on drugs. Oh, well, maybe that's it then. Because I'm realizing as I say it out loud that your best work actually came when you were stoned. It's when you got clean that the creativity kind of went away. You are kind of a piece of shit. I think I see where you got inspiration for your main character. I could write it the way that you want it. But then I'd just be another Michael Burwell, wouldn't I? You know what you want? I mean, you gave me the fucking script. You! <laughs> Maybe I am like you. But you know what? You really treat her like crap. I mean, you sneak around, talking shit, lying about being sober? I don't suppose that the fact that uh, her last name was Burwell made you like her just a fraction more than you would have? She knows that we got together so I could meet you. She knows that, and she didn't care. Of course, because it doesn't matter where we move. This is gonna keep happening. Oh, hey, we got your cake. What are you talking about? <laughs> Obviously. This is the ending I deserve. <laughs> it was always heading this way, and to think I was good enough to write myself out of this. Well, I guess I really am unlike. No, I'm, what are you, I'm not gonna do this again. Cole, what? We cut the cake before we lit the candles. <laughs> Dreamy ice creamy. Remember that, Hales? What was that from? Is that from anything? That was from nothing. Uh, well, let us eat cake. What was that from? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you people?
Is it your family motive to play off every fatal flaw like a fun quirk? Haley, kick me out. I'm toxic. I'm just gonna keep fucking lying to you. So force me out of your life. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep coming back. What did you do? Your dad read my script. He asked and I answered. I really was here for you, I was. I just, I... And I wanted it to be as good as I thought it was, but... This script is all I have. No. No, you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to do that, okay? If you think that you could just erase me, you can't do that, okay? That's just every nightmare I've ever had. Yeah, I am a nightmare. You know what? You don't have to kick me out. I'm going. being a fucking asshole. Why would anyone cheers to that? Well, you don't have to cheers to me. It's just a thing. You're asshole-ish. Because you're oblivious, but... I, I wouldn't say in the eight years I've known you, you've ever been, like, a full asshole, not on purpose. Yeah, well... Things changed this summer. Are you leaving already? And you were really caught up in Haley, and things were moving fast. And I just figured, why wait? So, um, yeah, tomorrow night now, the guy, roommate. Oh. Look, you aimed for something instead of staying still, so points for that. Well, my aim was off. Look, when I called you asshole-ish, I, I don't even think you're that. Man, you're just coal, which I think is <clears throat> decent. Decent. We root for decent people to find each other and fall in love. That's what? Lesson one of screenwriting 101? You give the audience what they want. So why can't I do that? I think because you get in your own way. You overcomplicate things when there's a simpler solution right in front of you. See, this feels like real life. I'm thinking, just, I don't know. It feels right. right. It's weird that to you, you're the protagonist. You just got all these stories going on. 
If I was the protagonist, would you root for me? I have been rooting for you. In one way or another. For a very long time. Uh, who knows what that means? You've been rooting for me for a long time. You want them pajama bottoms? I think I know what that means. You're a scheming piece of shit. <laughs> we learn from the same films. I'm not gay. Oh, you're not straight. <laughs> Do you know the way you look at me? The way we talk? I just thought dating this girl would finally... Okay. I'm an asshole too. I guess, um, everybody's got a plan. Another drink? You could do I'm gonna try and read right. Uh, just I've got some good ideas that I want to channel while I still feel like crap. Just because, uh, you know, I'm hungover. Yeah, well, make sure you drink lots of water. Yeah. Is that a drinking tip people know? Yeah, people who've been drinking for longer than six so weeks. Uh, see you too. Oh. No, you're leaving tonight. Shit. Um, all right, well, just uh, you know, text me and I'll, I'll come back and say, uh, you know. Yeah, that um, it'd be nice if you said, you know. I see the lines The time designs They chart a map Across your face With every smile They build their mile And with each tear At twice the pace all it takes we were young a year ago is it too late is it too late the second hand comes round again it lives to pass and will not land 
it is our faith. With each new You're a walking day, cliche. The hourglass becomes the sand. We were young a year ago. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. We were young a year ago. Is it too late? Is it too late? We were young a year ago. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. We were young a year ago. Is it too late? Is it too late? Hi. Hey, I have a reservation for the time loop at eight. You are three minutes late. Gotta respect the room. Guess it's not a snake petting zoo, huh? I was hoping you wouldn't come. So then why did you? See if movie endings really do exist. So now you want a movie ending? Well, this isn't a movie ending, you know. The movie ending would have been you not showing up. I came here hoping that you wouldn't, because that would have meant that you had moved on. Or maybe I just want to see you. Well, then we really are perfect for each other, because you do stupid things over and over again, too. Yeah, there's a word for that. We can't return. We can only look behind from where we came. I never said that I wanted to return. Then why are you here? I'm here because I have problems, so... I'm not here to diagnose you, but I think your dad has a lot to do with why you think you're messed up. Okay, cool. How'd you find me, huh? By being a selfish creep. No, no. How'd you find me? I stalked you. Because I let you. Why do you think I came out for air that night at graduation? <laughs> Who actually does that? There's tons of air inside. But I saw you having none of it. I guess you look lonely, so... So I went outside and I stoked the coals. Flames, whatever. I made a fucked up plan. Yeah, and I left you clues along the way. I constantly posted where I was. You know what's really screwed up? Is that I saw you following me before the bakery, and I was thrilled because somehow that meant that I was less alone. Why not just give me your phone number at graduation then? Why not just be normal about it? Look, uh, Neither of us are normal. Is there a six-digit code on the uh, posters behind you there? Yeah. One, two, zero, one, one, seven. Um. Why didn't I give you my number? Because I wanted you to find me. I wanted you to prove that you wanted me. Cause God damn it, I am so sick and tired of just being obsessed with people that aren't obsessed with me back. Well, I'm sorry I was obsessed for the wrong reason. I'm sorry I couldn't make it the right reason. I'm sorry. Thanks. For your apology, anyway. For what it's worth, when I said I loved you, I really wanted to mean that. No, it's just not how I'm written. I can't have that standard happy ending with you because I'm... It's not who I'm meant to be. Hey, you know that word? 
the one for doing stupid things over and over again. It's addiction. So you're right. I am messed up because my dad. He's addicted to drugs and alcohol. I'm addicted to people. And that's why I'm here right now, because I wanted to see if you'd be here too. It's like the final pill in the bottle. It's closure. I just really need to close this circle so that I can finally step out of it. Well, that sounds uh, like a really good ending. Yesterday, a child came out to wonder. Caught a dragonfly inside a jar. Fearful when the sky was full of thunder. And tearful at the falling of a star. Captive 
live on the carousel of time. We can't turn, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. In the circle Blissful days that we kissed away. 